Scoresby on that day. And I tend to think that um, today that could be the case again as well. I think that uh, Noble Park have to go in as pretty firm favourites, uh, finishing on top of the ladder and also uh, defeating Scoresby a couple of weeks ago. They have the, the form to win, but um, can't underestimate the Scoresby side. They, they um, have a terrific midfield, great core group of midfielders, Adam Parker, David Marcius, Brenton League, um, and they have a uh, dangerous forward line, a better forward line than they had 12 months ago with uh, Steve Pinn down there and Chris Hogel. And uh, as a result, Stores be definitely with a chance, but I just think Noble Park, too much class in their ranks, and uh, they will be too strong today. This one's going to be an absolutely cracking game. I mean, you've got uh, two sides that have played each other eight times in the last two years. They've played each other four times, including their uh, grand final match in 2010, and then uh, one at each away venue. Uh, during the season, Scoresby winning at Pat Wright Senior Oval during the year and then uh, Noble Park winning the return game at Scoresby Recreation Reserve and then of course, as you said, uh, Noble Park winning the second semi-final 15-14-104 to 14-4-88 uh, after a pretty strong start from Scoresby. It'll be interesting to see just how well both these sides use the breeze, obviously a reasonably strong breeze heading down to the mountain, mountain highway and to the ground. Yeah, you're right. They know each other very well, these two sides, and uh, probably a little bit sick of the side of each other, to be honest, by uh, the time they play in today's grand final. But, um, yeah, they've had a, a great rivalry they've established in the last two years. It's sort of a rivalry in the AFL after all those years of, you know, Vermont-East Burwood rivalry and then, um, you know, uh, Vermont uh, and Noble Park for a few years. And I guess there's, there's sort of been... There's still that great intensity in Noble Park ball and matches... Um, and nowadays tends to be Blackburn ball and also, but as far as two really elite football teams go um, who can match each other on the field, these two sides, I think Noble Park will be too strong. How much by? Are you going to give us a uh, I did, I went, I went, I'm just trying to think who I, who I thought would win the, the, uh, the medal today, uh, my pre-game prediction for that. I, I did tip Noble Park by 32 points and um, I think that's It'll be yeah pretty close for a half, two and a half quarters, and uh, it'll start to stand out after that. So as I was just going through their paces at the moment, you spoke about the best on ground medals and two guys who would probably get their name up almost straight away. The captains of both sides, Matty Krawczyk from Scoresby and Craig Anderson, uh, the number one from Noble Park, going in and meeting the umpires, Ben Lingard, Jordan O'Toole and Dan Beard. And it was Craig Anderson winning the toss and he'll, his side will kick to the mountain highway end of the ground in the first term with what has almost become a uh, blustery wind as the umpires just meet in the middle of Bayswater Oval here. Lachlan Dalahunty was the man I went for to win the um, Kyle Martin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to tip a bit of a roughie. So they were both teams just making their way towards their lineups as we go through the final for the 2011 Division 1 Senior Grand Final to be played between the Noble Park Bulls and the Scores U Magpies. Didn't realise when I said that, Dyson, that you actually did tip Cole Martin for the medal uh, and in print in the Eastern Football. I wasn't uh, sorry. Noble, wasn't. Park by, <laughs> Noble Park by two and a half goals, 15 points, and my boy Cole Martin, yeah. Sean Kelly. with 16 wins and two defeats and Scoresby finished the year in third spot with 14 wins and four defeats. During the home and away season the Bulls and Magpies met twice. In round four Scoresby were victorious by 23 points and in round 12 when Noble Park were victorious by 41 points. They met again in the second semi-final where Noble Park progressed straight through to today's grand final with a 16 point victory. Scoresby rebounded in the preliminary final last weekend, defeating Blackburn for the second time in this final series, this time by 56 points to book their place in today's grand final. Best of luck to both sides today. Our officiating umpires today are Jordan O'Toole, Dan Beard in the field, Rory Ashton, Callan Hare, Patrick Deneen and Thomas Kerrick on the boundary, David Wallace and Sam Walsh in the goals, and our emergency umpires are Zach Geminis and Wayne Duke. 
Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the Australian National Anthem. in special comments this afternoon. Uh, you've been here before a couple of times, uh, Brownie. Uh, it's a very good afternoon to you, John Brown. Yeah, good afternoon. It's uh, been an exciting finals uh, period and uh, been able to commentate on a few different divisions. Unfortunately, I'd rather be participating, but uh, you know we're at the pinnacle of uh, Eastern Football League and Division 1, and I'm looking forward to a, uh, a great game. And just take us through your thoughts sort of this time uh, last year for you, obviously, with the Templestowe Football Club. What will both these sides be going through at the moment? Yeah, look, it's interesting because your whole preparation's changed in terms of uh, you're given different uh, times and allocations in terms of when you come onto the ground. As a coach, you, you've sort of done everything you need to by Thursday night, going over the finer points in your preparation on the Saturday. But uh, really, as a coach, you've got to let those players just really re refocus and uh, you know get themselves up. Uh, prepared not only mentally but also physically because it is a different day and, and especially today we've got 25 degrees and uh, their hydration over the last couple of days would have been important that would yeah. have been pre-game so there's a, a little bit of a change than the home and away based on the weather conditions as well so there's a few uh it'll just be interesting to see just where players line up within this first center bounce just both sides seem to be probably the most versatile and that's been something that's really been a strength of their bow during the year Lockie Delahunty your man uh, Brad Henderson is actually standing on the wing uh, alongside George Angelopoulos for Noble Park? Well, yeah, he is. i um, been expecting to play down back for a fair bit of the day, and um, I don't know if he's my man, Dyson, but <laughs> uh, I certainly think he'll stand tall today, and I have backed him in to, to win the medal. But, um, you know, he's yeah, he, he's uh, he, he'll be important, and uh, staying alongside Bo Cosson at the moment. Glenn Manson's won the first crack at uh, Luke Van Ruin in the ruck, and uh, that's going to be... A absolutely cracking duel all day. It'll be important to see if Noble Park can win the changes through through their midfield to uh, counteract Luke Van Ren. Kirby McConnell's gone right to the goal square as well as uh, Steve Pym and um, Luke Mann in the other goal square for Noble Park. But we're set to get underway for the Division 1 Senior Grand Final for 2011. On this occasion, uh, Manson wins it down. Noble Park at first use, but a free kick going the way of Scoresby to Van Renen, gives his handball off, finds leg, puts himself under a bit of pressure. They manage to get it out here through McDonald. McDonald up towards centre wing, dangerous kick, finds its target though, hits Cosson. So, it's a forward 50 for the first time in this grand final. Pack of players fly, but in the end it's Glenn Manson who picks it up at the back of the pack. And first defensive mark for Noble Park. And they'll clear out a defence pretty comfortably through Kelly. Has a fair bit of time. Kicks oh, nicely, finds Shane Allen streaming back. A chance now for, score, for Noble Park here. And we spoke about him just before the first siren went. And Luke Mann will have a shot for goal from 45 out directly in front to put the first on the board for the Bulls. Good set up early by Noble Park. Obviously, um, they've got the breeze, but what they've done is uh, pushed up a couple of lines. Their half forwards are working up through the wing areas and uh, just allowing uh, their key forwards some more space. Puts it on the boot. Umpire does not move a muscle. Sticks the two fingers out in front of his body, and within the first minute, Noble Park take themselves one goal up. Noble Park a one straight six. Scores we yet to score. One minute and ten seconds gone in this first term. He's a great kick, Luke Mann. And uh, for, a, for a big man, he's, he's one of those uh, 
players who can play in the ruck, but is also very damaging in the way he uses the footy. And uh, that goal really set up there by Shane Allen, who's still an underrated player, I think, for Noble Park. Kicks a lot of goals and uh, also is just instrumental to this Bulls team when they play well. So good start for Noble Park. Less than two minutes gone and they already have one goal on the board through Luke Mann. Umpire throws it up now. We have a free kick. It's going to the Bulls. And it's Delahunty. Off to Galanti, sends it forward to the pocket, Terrific and mark. that's a great mark. Good strong grab taken there by O'Brien. So Noble Park certainly looking dangerous early. So Peter O'Brien, veteran of many years and many, many grand finals. A couple of premierships at Noble Park. Usually plays well on this big day, the grand final day. Uh, his kick this time, though, has drifted across the face of goal. Minor score for Peter O'Brien, but Noble Park lead by seven points. And uh, he's 34 years old, Peter O'Brien, so you do wonder how much longer he'll, he'll go around, but he's still uh, still a great footballer for the, the Noble Park Football Club. So, scores we go reasonably along with the kick out against the Breeze, looking for Van Reen, and he can't quite bring it down yeah. on that occasion. Was smothered by both Delahunty and Manson. Scores we just chipping it up towards McConnon. Couldn't quite take it, and Ballsfield's over the boundary line, right in front of the scores we bench. Dale Barrow and his boys just doing some of his finest. Three minutes gone in the first term. Ball thrown in. Once again, Van Renan wins a tap down. Delahunty got caught wrong-sided. And it'll be Anderson to set over the boundary line for a secondary uh, throw-in. And Mason's just uh, dropped back here while... Um Noble Park have pressed to their half forward. Mason's just dropped back and uh, hopefully been able to uh, defend as a tall marking option. Well, we uh, could have a chance with scores. We uh, play wrapped up and unfortunately for uh, that was Jones who was tackled, got caught by Ziggy Olman who gives it off to Martin who goes inside forward 50. Jeez. Gets a downfield free kick so it to it. Gee. Ooh, hello. And what would probably be 25 which would take him to the top of the goal square anyway. So it'll be Shane Allen who got the downfield free kick, 15 metres out, plus what would probably be a 25 metre penalty for the after the after the uh, play incident. So it should be Shane Allen uh, kicking with the man on the mark directly on the goal line. Yeah, and David Marcy is just getting the yellow card for uh, instigating that, that brawl. No, a, no surprise, Steve Pym uh, up in <laughs> Zee Owen's face as well. So just waiting on confirmation from umpires at the moment. Not the start that uh, Scoresby want to actually be facing early on in the grand final to lose one of their key playmakers uh, for 15 minutes. So, umpires just confirming. Jordan O'Toole uh, was just about to call play. Dan Beard and uh, Ben Lingard called number, the uh, number eight umpire called the 25 metre penalty. So, it'll be Shane Allen uh, with Scott Goldsworthy standing directly on the goal line. So, point blank range for the second goal for the Bulls. Puts it through. No mistakes made by Shane Allen. And the Noble Park side have their second. They move on to 2-1-13. Scores we yet to score in this grand final. We've just ticked over five minutes gone in the first term of the Division 1 Senior Grand, fi grand Final. It's really costly, Brownie, as you mentioned about uh, Marcus being one of Scoresby's real playmakers. And, you know, you can sort of understand maybe that they, they will target Kyle Martin, try to put him off his game. But by giving, he gave the, the free kick downfield and then went in a second time and... Um, you know, that's, that's, I mean, as you say, they've lost one of their best players trying to target one of the opposition's best. So, um, yeah, it hasn't worked out there for the Magpies. As Krozik thumps it forward, fisted out of the air by Robbie Kemperman. Brother Stewart has uh, a big job today on McConnon. On the outer side there, kick around the corner by Elwin, and he's put it out of bounds on the full. Free kick goes to Warby. So Thomas Warby for Scoresby. Short pass is on to Hogel. Doesn't waste any time. Drives it forward. Kemperman came from behind against Wilson. Came off hands. McConnon had a shot at the goals. And he's off target. Minor score there for Scoresby. 2-1 for Noble Park. Scoresby get their first score of this grand final. They're one behind. So a quick kick out from Noble Park. The manager find it a half back. Chance now after a lot of pressure. Orwin gets it away. Chance to work through Kemperman. Martin in there as well. 
Turn over came. Good work from Mack. His handball was smothered. Still a chance now. So they try and work through Gibbons, who's held up. Pretty much right on the 50 metre arc. Deep in front of the Noble Park uh, bench. Mick Foggett in his faithful. John Brown, what have you seen? Yeah, just Noble Park. Uh, they've got a ball on their halfback flank at the moment. And like we mentioned with their first goal, have rolled up their forward line right up into uh, the middle of the ground and really keeping the space for their forwards open. And uh, Man down there obviously giving him every opportunity if they do win the ball off that halfback to actually put the ball out into space and let him work into. So quite an interesting setup, even though they've got the breeze. Yeah. So third man up. Gave scores. We had a little bit of a go. Mac, his kick went on the way. Couldn't quite find it. Only found Tim Kelly, who decided to play on. Has an option on Delahunty. As Brenny said, they've got the run of the play here. Delahunty making an absolute meal of this, but gets the handball off, puts his player under a lot of pressure against three. In the end, Hicks wins out for scores. We can't take it anywhere, though, and it pulls held up. So, a uh, pretty decent opportunity to go forward on that occasion, but just not clean enough the balls. Yeah, he had uh, Luke Mann one-on-one, -on -one, as we mentioned, probably 45, 50 out, and, you know, he could have put the ball out into space and let his forward actually uh, utilise the area that he... You know, created. In the end, another 50-50 contest in shoes and balls held up once again. So we've gone just under eight minutes and a few costly errors by both sides so far. By Dan Beard just throws the ball up once again. Delahunty on this occasion gets the punch down, but a free kick going the way of Luke Van Rienen. Glenn Manson just basically pulling him out of the contest. So Van Rienen inside forward 50 in the pim direction, but oh. coming over the back couldn't quite mark it was McConnon. Ball just sits across the back of play. Good work from Kemperman. Trying to keep it in. Very dangerous position here for the Bulls. Oh. They've got the numbers. They just need to be clean. Trying to get it away was done. Couldn't quite do it. Just pushing through. Ball's held up. Free kick will go the way of Scoresby. Just waiting for the players to get up off the bottom of the pack. And it'll be Luke Gibbons to take the free kick. Heavily strapped right knee. But a chance to put the first on the board for Scoresby, and this would be crucial going against the Breeze in this first term. So Gibbons comes in. Six it on the boot, sets it across the right-hand side, but he's managed to creep it in and put the first on the board for the Magpies. So Scoresby moved to one goal, 1-7. One Trailing at the moment by a goal. Noble Park 2 1 13. Nine minutes gone in this first term. Well, that will just uh, settle the nerves a little bit, you would think, for the Magpies getting that first goal through Lucas Gibbons. And the deficit now back to six points. Manson and Van Reen, and it's just going to be a fantastic battle all day in the ruck. One of the real highlights of this game. Manson puts the, uh, the knee into the chest of Van Reenen. Free kick maybe against Manson. That's what Scoresby wanted. They're appealing for a high tackle. Umpire thought better of it. And we'll throw it up. So Manson, a little bit late to arrive on the scene that time for the ruck contest. Alwyn to Martin. Beautiful pass by Kyle Martin to half forward. Sock it off the ground <laughs> again by Martin. He made up some ground then. And he's found the boundary just in front of Angelopoulos. This is where Noble Park really need to make the most of the time. Luke Van Reenen's gone off. The man in the ruck, uh, now Ben Wilson. And just as a show that uh, Glenn Manson for uh, Noble Park's just come to uh, the interchange as well. Ah, there you go. Well, uh, Brian there lunged forward as he was tackled, and uh, the umpire said he was, got one in the back. So a free kick to Peter O'Brien. Bit of a professional free from his uh, perspective. I think he just worked it enough. Yeah, he did. He just fell forward as the tackle was applied. So what can Peter O'Brien do? He's already missed one. That's a better kick. And it does it well. have the legs on it. Yes, it does. Goal for Noble Park. O'Brien gets his first. And the Bulls lead by 12 points. Well, he's had two scoring shots on goal now. Kicked one goal one. So he's certainly been uh, lively across the forward line and just given them a different dimension uh, where they can score goals from. It's probably been the advantage of both these sides that they managed to find goals from uh, almost half back just working its way down the ground. They've probably got a 13 or 14 players that can actually kick goals right across the board. Noble Park get the clearance out on this occasion. They go forward through, towards Georgie Angelopoulos who can't mark. Puts his body on the line as you always see from Georgie once again. Still trying to work it out. 
in there. McDonald clears four scores. Be two one on one foot race. Oh, Della well Hunty just wasn't smart enough, and in the end, it was Cosson who wins out. Chance at the bottom of the pack. Mack gives back to Cosson. Series of handballs and scores Vera away with a bouncing ball. Up towards Stewie Campermoon who can't control and probably the best result in front of Kevin McConnell with a, a fair few magpies streaming back with that ball. Bo Cosson did a terrific job there. Yes, he went to ground early, but uh, he got back in the contest and actually won the footy two on one. So ball thrown in once again. Chance now the two number ones go at it. Mack and Anderson and now at the bottom of the pack. Gibbons. They go inside forward 50, one on one. And fantastic work from the Noble Park defence to just punch it away once again. Pim, uh, they've gone to him a couple of times and one's gone over the head and that one just couldn't quite get it. So he's just going to try and find his feet in this first sort of 15-20 uh, minutes or so. Off the back of the pack, Noble Park able to win out. Chance now though as Wilson picks up, gives it off to Gibbons inside forward 50. Off the back of the pack, Pim, I said he was dangerous. Didn't get the push in the back, come by a set and a chance for Anderson to clear away. Handball's out to Plymouth. Gives a very short handball. Dangerous as they work it out. In favour of Delahunty. Bouncing ball. Boundary line very close. But Delahunty just very nicely gets it towards the forward 50. So they've gained about 100 metres off. Not much. Allen inside forward 50. Chance with a bouncing ball to Dunn. Who sees it over the boundary line. Now to bounce. So not that clean a disposal. But they've walked it, worked it from full back to full forward. And now a, a genuine chance to score. So the ball's inside forward 50. Alwyn tried to be the third man up, just got caught underneath the, uh, underneath man on that occasion. And it sees Scott Goldsworthy over the boundary line. So plenty of changes being made uh, across both benches. Matty Krawczyk and uh, Patrick Tompkins just about to come on for, Magp for the Scorsby Magpies. Chance now is Anderson in front of Mack. What a duel that'll be. That's sort of... Uh, the old versus the new in, in terms of AFL uh, royalty, I suppose. Anderson, a stalwart of uh, the Noble Park Footy Club, Corey Mack, one of those up-and-coming players at, uh, at Scoresby. He breaks through the pack now, chance to go forward once again, but all bulls uh, as they just load up in the middle of the ground. Plymouth gets the handball, goes towards the forward 50. Holding it up on that, hand, on that occasion was Monaghan, who goes inside forward 50 and finds Shane Allen. He's been very lively out forward at the moment and has a chance to keep his second within the first 15 minutes of this game. And the difference at the moment uh, between the two sides is uh, Noble Park are really using the ball well, lowering their eyes, hitting up their, their key forwards who are leading out. And even if there happens to be a small where Scoresby at the moment are one-dimensional, kicking long, bombing it down, and Noble Park are able to drop some numbers back defensively at the moment. So Shane Allen sticks it on the right boot, sets it across to the right-hand side and throw for one behind. He has one goal, one seven. His side has 3-2-20. They lead scores be 1-1-7. 14 and a half minutes gone. First term of the Division 1 Grand Final for 2011. So Warby to bring the ball back in for the Magpies. Just weighing up his options. And uh, considering all alternatives and then elects to kick to the Bayswater Road side of the ground. Major. But a little handball away just before O'Brien confronted him. 13 point lead to Noble Park. Heck, feral crowd starting to pile in. Just sort of looking at it, it almost crept up from nowhere. Yeah, it's been slow to build today, but it's definitely uh, getting up there now as Patarakis throws the ball on the boot. But the ball's going to have to come back. And it will be a free kick to the Magpies. So, Gibbons to a big pack of players. Allen there at the foot of the ball. Put his body over it. Uh, and Kemp Kemperman, sorry, in fact it was. Robbie Kemperman. Yeah, that's a tough free call. Kick. Yeah, it is a tough. Free kick goes to leg for Scoresby. Very low kick. Gee, it was a, what's he done there? He's kicked into the man on the mark. Kemperman took it over the boundary line. It didn't look like it even uh, ever looked like getting over the man on the yeah. mark. It was a real underground kick. So boundary throw in. Cleave won the tap down to Barclay. Drives it forward. Barclay's kick into open space. The Magpies work their way back. The two McDonald's there in, in combination. 
And the ball that time was the victor over the boundary line, uh, sorry, through for a minor score. As uh, scores we move on to one goal, two, and Noble Park, sorry, Noble Park, 3-3-21. Three, three, scores has been 1-1-7. One, one, and uh, the Magpies just haven't really fired a shot to this stage. They need to uh, start to bring their A game, Dyson. As you said, all the attacking come from the Bulls, but Krawczyk sends, his, sends himself up three deep, couldn't quite take it down. Chance now for Gibbons for Scoresby, gets the handball out. Still nothing, plenty of Bulls around the ball and just gang tackled uh, on that occasion. Two players just going at it. Krawczyk and uh, George Angelopoulos just getting to know each other. Surprise, surprise, Angelopoulos and everything <laughs> <laughs> that involves uh, a little bit of jumper punching. And the ball is seen over the boundary line right on the 50 metre arc for uh, Noble Park. 3-3 three, three plays 1-1, one, one, 17 minutes gone. Surprise, surprise, Brandon Manson's just come on as Van Reenen goes up in the ruck. Yeah, probably directions there from uh, Mick Fogarty with uh, every time uh, Van Reenen comes off, that you come off and have your spell at the same time. He's going to have to work hard as Anderson gets it, snaps it around the body, but finds no one uh, and ends up finding Gibbons on halfback for Scoresby. Just at the moment, we can see from this passage of play that uh, Noble Park haven't allowed Scoresby to really get their running game up and they've really boxed them in defensively at the moment and it's probably an area that Scoresby really need to lift in. They're, they're very stagnant, there's no fleet, uh, free flowing run at the moment and uh, it's probably just an area of the game they've got to get in. That might be nerves, as they settle that may come, but that certainly needs to come quickly. You speak about locking him in, I reckon every player on the ground was within a 45 metre um, area on that last kick. As Scoresby go forward once again through Parker, couldn't quite find Pim on that occasion and the fist came back from the uh, full forward come full back Bodella who uh, kicked 30 goals at the start of the year and now has uh, become a pretty prominent fullback, um, taking some of the best uh, in Division 1 this year. Ball thrown in once again, Van Reen and taps it down to Manson, who kicks out in the direction of Shane Allen. Bouncing ball wasn't friendly for him. Goldsworthy will have front position. Out must it is opponent enough, and Warby, a chance to clean up. A lot of pressure on the outer side. Kemperman just boots it up centre wing. Manages to find Alwyn on the lead. Gives the handball off. This is where they love to run Noble Park. Oh. Having said that, Scoresby not giving him much space at the moment. So both sides just trying to get uh, that flow going in their game at the moment. Up towards the centre of the ground. Good work from Cosson. Just slowing play up, Scoresby. They go inside forward 50. And uh, John Brown just shook his head because Steve Pimb was absolutely no hope of getting that ball on that occasion. Monaghan kicks towards centre half forward. And manages to find Dunn. Dunn short. And that's just poor defence from the Scoresby Football Club. And a mark taken by Craig Jacketine. Uh, 40 metres out. Oh Decides my. to go short. Luke Mann wasn't even looking oh. uh, when the, when the uh, kick, was ca kick came. But uh, still managed to make a bit of a meal of it. Alwyn up against three magpies. Couldn't quite do it. Step came from Jacketine. Chance around the body. That's a real let off for Scoresby yeah. there. You know, Noble Park really should have went back and had a, uh, a shot on goal there. They, you know, were inside 50, three or four goal breeze behind them. Just yep. go back, steady, kick through the football and uh, hopefully kick straight. Unfortunately, they dropped the mark. He did look for the vision and the option. But uh, yes. in those situations, you know, your forwards need to go back and kick goals. Too bad, Kim, yourself? 22, plays 1-1-7, 20 minutes gone in the first half right now. So Warby brings the ball back here. Mark Mann on the pack. Campbell shot out now. This must be off and running. Low kick for McConnor. Got around the uh, lobby tackle there in Dowling. Too easily. He bounces for McConnor. Confronted by Paul. McConnor's kick was a good one. And Jared Clinton there in defence had no chance of stopping that kick coming in from McConnor. Mark safely held. Just what uh, I was Jack, where are to you at the moment? In terms of the run from Scoresby, you know, that goal was set up from, from um, you know, the creative run off the half-back. A couple of bounces of the ball on the wing there, and it gives the forward that one-on-one -on -one opportunity to get some space. Well, Ben Wilson has well, finished you stay here? great work. All right, we'll give you this. Downfield with three bounces. And uh, then that lovely pass, Ben Wilson has uh, had a good year for Scoresby. this year. He's played well, here, sit here. Games. And when... I'll, I'll, I'll radio through. I'll, I'll say, Lewis, uh, good coming. 
So I'll radio through yeah, the so I'm going to um, take through the siren so that it comes out of these speakers as well, but I need to go over there with the microphone. Alright, so when I say go, press, uh, press that button, yeah, and then leave it, leave it down until the siren stops and then press it again. Uh, so just press it and then press it again. Press, uh, press that button, then leave it for 10 seconds, and then press it again. Until the siren stops. Yeah, but once you press it in, leave it, and then when the siren stops, press it again. So you just say go? Yeah, I'll say that. Tap down. 
Now was uh, in favour of the ball, but Delahanty gets it inside forward 50. No one in particular there. In the end, it's Joe Major cleans up. Gives the handball off to Leg, who was under a lot of pressure. Georgie Angelopoulos gets the handball off to Allen. Allen, short chip kick finds Man, who plays on and should just slot this one from point blank range. Two within the space of a minute for the Bulls, and they open out this lead. 5 5 35 now in Oval Park. Scores me 2-1-13, 20, 27 minutes gone in this first term, and uh, what a goal. Luke Mann now has two, his side at five, and just uh, opening out this lead slightly, John Brown. Yeah, just before those two goals, I was looking at the scoreboard thinking um, the three-goal five return up until, you know, the 22, 23 minute mark. And, uh, you've been able to uh, capitalise in the last two or three minutes of play, hit the scoreboard with uh, some accurate goals. Probably a fair indication there with where the scoreboard is with the, the play that Noble Park have had. You know, 5-5, five, five, 10 scoring shots of goal at the moment in three. So, 22-point lead, the biggest lead of the day so far. Going state in the first quarter. And uh, it's supposed to be due to reply. Della Hunty out of the middle, pumping kick forward. Chance here for Alwyn was strongly tackled. And uh, wrapped up there by Prince of the League. And uh, Yellen just hasn't been able to weave any magic thus far away. Passes down to Patarakis. And that's, that's a goal as well for the Bulls. Kicked by Allen. So Shane Allen's kicked a great goal for Noble Park. That's his second at the moment. The Bulls can do no wrong. And they are capitalising on uh, most of their opportunities. We've said that they had uh, three goals, five, and not four goals. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, before we had the window before, before the start of the main game, two goals, one. They've been a helicopter land. I'd like to see the Bogues just on the wing. They played on Della Hunt. They tightened up on the center bounces. Della Hunt swept in defensively twice in the last two stoppages and actually won the football out of the middle. Well, thrown up, it's Lee wins his down on this occasion. Uh, no, I don't wind them up. <laughs> no, 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 I said, they were pretty good about it, but yeah, yeah, the center wing. yeah, I know, I just said a bloke yeah, already. Oh, so the bloke will be dead. 48 seconds to go. Right in front of the connect, he's diesel-ing on the outer side. A bit crowd piled in on the outer track. 29 minutes gone. Knox, 700. We had eight goals kicked in this term, so it wouldn't be too much longer you'd expect. We kick off the back and Anderson gets his side inside oh, forward 50. Looking for Alwyn, couldn't find him. Alwyn, uh, Allen off the bottom of the pack. Can he get the next kick? Uh, not on this occasion. Of course, was open and fine. Out of bounds on the full. Uh, so it'll be a free kick going the way of uh, Scoresby. Decide to go short. Kick comes out to Jones. Another short kick, very dangerous. Good mark taken there by Tompkins. Yes, that's a ball up, you don't stop for that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, not really Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Bayswater Oval. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome.
Okay, so the police have called that, have they? Yeah. yeah. Knock 700, I reckon somebody should have responded. I was caught up in the... Okay, yeah, I was up there doing the siren. He wanted uh, medical. If he's calling, he wants somebody to come back to him and say, okay. go ahead, knock 700. Right. He wanted medical, I thought he said. Sorry, knock 700, it's still... Yeah, you asked us. Sorry, can you repeat that, please? No, no. The, did you hear the cops? Did the cops before heard knock 700 to medical? Did you hear that? No, I didn't. Okay. I'll ring up. I'll ring up. Have you? Okay, well, if it was it. They want Jack Hamilton. We we'll get Bobby to go and this, this first aid. So. Get a uh, get a. They want a Jared on the uh, Eastern. Press the button again. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please start to clear the ground for the start of the second quarter. If you could please start to clear the ground for the start of the second quarter.
Straight in front, accuracy should be fairly easy, but geez, uh, just hung about to the right. Usually a pretty good kick for goal, but that time Luke Mann has missed. He has two goals, one, and Noble Park, 6 6 42 to Scoresby, 2 1 13. That was a real let off for Scoresby. Um, you know, the last thing they would have wanted was to concede the first goal. So uh, a real letter for them, and hopefully they can rebound now and start to uh, hit the scoreboard. Kick comes off the back, and good work from Van Roon. It just shows a bit of a turn of pace. Gets his side towards the forward 50. Kick came off the back of the pack. Fantastic goal. And the quick reply from the Scoresby Football Club. I'm going to go... I'm not, I'm not even going to guess. Ah, there we go. Bo Cosson. So... Off Van Roon and probably his goal, just his uh, body work off the kick from uh, Thomas Warby. And Bo Cosson has his first of the day. He has his side third. They move on a 3 1 19. Noble Park 6 6 42. Tick under two minutes gone in this second term. And big Van Roon uh, was delighted with that. He was really pumped after setting that play up. So back in the middle once again. Much needed goal for, uh, for Scoresby. Parker got the ball forward there for the Magpies. Quick kick forward by Gibbons to the square. Pim takes possession now, bounces the kick around the corner and really couldn't work uh, any magic that time. Steve Pim. So boundary throw in, forward pocket for Scoresby. Manson wins the tap down. Was it a high tackle on Kemperman? Uh, on Monaghan, I should say, the umpire says, yes, it was. Shares it with Kemperman. That is a great bump that's put uh, someone from Scoresby on the ground there and really a uh, defining bump. Dowler to Martin. Very, very short pass there by Kyle Martin to Anderson. Back to Martin, who was sat on his backside that time. Not for the first time today. Martin's kick up towards the wing position. Alwyn seemed to cop a high one from Warby. Very high kick, Krawczyk does beautifully to work his way back and take the mark. Gave it to Wilson. This is looking promising. Hicks goes to ground. And uh, Noble Park able to clear there through Kelly. And uh, Tim Kelly's kick intended there for Matty Dunn, but boundary line was uh, beckoning. Not a lot of system for Scoresby just mm. at the moment as they go forward. Up down to Anderson, tries to... Break the shackles of Warby, does so now. Anderson's long kick over the head of Shane Allen. Allen against Goldsworthy. Allen wants his left side, finds it now. Sweeps out a handball to Elwin. Ziggy Elwin's kick Georgie. to Angelopoulos into an open goal. And Georgie Angelopoulos kicks the goal. Great footy from Noble Park going forward. And uh, Angelopoulos has his first of the day. And I think you just touched on it before that um, Scoresby just don't seem to have much system going into their forward line at the moment. And you can see that the difference there with Noble Park, that was fantastic. And 
once again, they did it with the Breeze. They're doing it into the Breeze, and that's rolling their forwards up. It's a little bit of the old uh, Dennis Pagan, Pagan's Paddock um, formula that's working for them at the moment during general play. That would be the perfect goal for Mick Fogarty as Van Rooning goes forward with a bit of a, bit of a grubber kick. Couldn't quite find Pim, and Dallas just had his uh, measure for the first quarter and five minutes of this game. Just uh, been all over him so far. But yeah, that last goal, I mean, Mick Fogarty would have been uh, loving that. Uh, just worked out beautifully. Perfect play and finish off with George Angelopoulos. Chance now for Anderson to try and clear out. Sorry, that was Jacketeen. Can't quite do it on this occasion. Ball's held up once again inside the scores be forward 50. Five minutes gone. 7-6 plays 3-1 favour of the Bulls, tap down, this time finds Jacketine again, they try to clear it out, Noble Park, plenty of numbers around the ball, almost too many, they can't quite clear it out once again, so another ball up, another uh, throw in, no player, pretty much no player behind the, the uh, centre of the ground for either side, Scoresby trying to push it forward once again, can't quite find it there with Krause, Against his opposite number in Kemperman. And the ball's held up 25 metres out directly in front of the Scoresby goal. So a definite uh, chance here for the Bulls. Ball's thrown in once again. Tap down. Good work off the bottom of the pack. Oh. Can't quite pick it up. The uh, Shepherd came from Pim and just knocked... Uh, Jacketine uh, Jack to the yeah. ground. Yeah, it was pretty high, I thought. Went straight through him and uh, took a while to get up, did uh, Craig Jacketine. He didn't have that much velocity behind it, but, it, but it, to me it looked high. It looked like he got him above the shoulder, so I was probably surprised it wasn't a free kick. He's reasonably well built, so it would have uh, hurt a little bit, I reckon. Free kick's been paid out, and it will go the way of Scoresby, so a chance for Adam Parker to line up for his first of the day. Yeah, I think they were a bit fortunate there, Scoresby. Uh, sort of dropped at the knees. Yeah, it did get high, but he certainly ducked into it. And uh, yeah. Noble Park, you could see the player's body language. They were a bit aggrieved by the decision. But uh, credit, he's got his hands on the football. Adam Parker makes no mistake on that one. Runs straight to the bench. He's going to swap with Corey Mack. But he's kicked his sides fourth of the day. They move on to 4-1-25. 23 point uh, lead to Noble Park, 7 6 48. Seven minutes gone, second term. Well, he's a class player. Adam Parker missed the start of the season for Scoresby, and they certainly uh, did miss him, his presence in some of the early games, but he um, he's had an outstanding second half of the year. He was named once again in the SEN uh, Division 1 squad. And that was just the goal that uh, Scoresby desperately needed as Van Reenen gets a big ride, an armchair ride from his opposite, uh, opposite number in Manson that time. Quick kick forward by Cross, who's been quite early. Up towards half forward now for Scoresby. And Plymouth there continues to see the ball over the boundary line. So... Boundary throw in. Manson has uh, pretty much done all the ruck work for Noble Park so far. He's had a little bit of a chop out from Luke Mann when the ball's been in Noble's forward line. Up towards the wing position, intercepted by Tompkins. Tompkins long kick to full forward. Pim caught at the back that time. Strong tackle though by Pim. Tries to rip the footy off his opponent, Dowler. Gee, the umpire gave Dowler every chance then. Ball bounces over the head of Elwin. Nicely palmed down, though. That was promising to Martin. Searing left foot kick by Martin. Looking for Dunn, who uh, just looked a little proppy as he got to his feet on that occasion. Boundary throw in. Broadcast side of Bayswater Oval. 23-point lead to Noble Park. Kyle Martin has time now to measure the kick. Does so. Kicks Dunn on the chest, what he was trying to achieve just a 30 seconds or so before that. Dunn's pass is a good one as well. He finds Allen. And see there, kicking by foot, Noble Park. Obviously, kicking's always by foot. 
their field kicking, their general kicking in play has just been fantastic. And uh, Shane Allen is usually a pretty good finisher. Lots of goals again this year for him. This time he's off target. Minor score for Shane Allen at Noble Park. 7-7-49. Seven, seven, Scoresby 4-1-25. But Brownie, I reckon the jungle drums are just starting to beat pretty loud for Scoresby. Yeah, look, they, uh, they've they hung in there with a couple of goals this quarter, but uh, I still like the way Noble Park are utilising um, their forward entries. They're, they're lowering their eyes, hitting targets up rather than blazing away. And at the moment, Scoresby just need to uh, take control when they've got the football and start hitting some targets. They hit a target on this occasion. Good kick came from Leg, manages to find Hicks, who goes inside forward 50. Can't quite find a marking option. Corey Mack off the bottom of the pack. Can he snap this one around the body? Oh, I tell you what, he's gone close. There's been a free kick paid. That uh, shot from Corey Mack from deep in the pocket actually uh, hit the post on, on the far side of the goal. So definite shot. But uh, alas, it will be a shot to Ben Wilson or a free kick to Ben Wilson. It's quite interesting that that was an advantage because it is the player's decision if he wants to play advantage. And uh, Corey Mack actually decided that he wanted to. So I'm surprised that the umpires actually brought that back. And it wasn't like there was any stoppage in the play. Corey Mack didn't break stride when he picked up the ball either. But Ben Wilson... To line up, puts it on the right boot for his second. Beautiful I'll tell you what, if Corey Mack made the mistake, Ben Wilson did not for his side's fifth. They move into 5 1 31. Noble Park 7 7 49. 11 minutes gone, first term, uh, sorry, second term in the Division 1 Grand Final for 2011. Brilliant. Just, just like last week, uh, scores be very accurate with their goal kicking at the moment. Six shots for a uh, five goal return at this stage. So back to an 18-point lead for Noble Park after that goal by Wilson. He's uh, second of the day for, for Scoresby. Umpire tosses it up. Crashing his way through was Jones. He's been uh, on and off the bench so far today. And uh, another bounce. Strong tackle by Angelopoulos, forced to stake there. Once again, Delahunty it was this time who won the ruck contest. Ball spills over the back. That was well played out to Plymouth. Plymouth's kick, a good one to Martin. Oh, Martin forced to go by hand this time. Now he'll go by foot. Martin's kick. Kept it low for Allen, who slipped the tackle beautifully. Shane Allen fires at the goals. Oh, 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 wow. Gee, that was dangerous then. Just off target. And it was a great gathering by Shane Allen there at his bootstraps. And then to slip the tackle away, he did. And in the end, he, uh, he could have put uh, Noble Park further in front. As it is, they lead by 19 points. So, Allen now has uh, two goals, three. He's got the last two behinds for Noble Park. High ball came long. The kick out almost went to the centre of the ground. In the end, Stewie Cleave marks. Hits it back to Plymouth, who goes right into the centre of the ground. Martin will be at the fall of this one. Got the handball away yeah, just in time. Back towards Jacketine. He's under a fair bit of pressure from McConnor just coming in from the side. Couldn't quite get in there as well. O'Brien. Plenty of players prepared to put their body on the line for both sides at the moment. As Matty Crosley comes on for Brenton Lake. Hasn't really had much of it so far, the scores with the captain. So, ball came off. Good work from Scoresby to try and push it forward with a bouncing ball. Up towards the Pim direction, who taps it back in, and now chance to go forward once again. Couldn't quite mark on that occasion, McConnon. Hands for Barclay. Handball was a bit too hot. Kemperman gives it back. Dowler just has enough time to steady. He's got Angelopoulos. By the time this ball falls, it'll be two on one. Warby had front position, had the chop of the arms, and managed to win the free kick. Well spotted by the umpire. So it'll be Tom Warby. Man on the mark, standing right on the edge of the 50 metre. It's Georgie Angelopoulos. Shortest man on the ground, so Luke Man just <laughs> tried to get him to change up. He's going to back himself, and we're sitting right behind this kick for their sixth goal of the game. 
He's been doing most of the kick in. Let's see how he kicks for goal. Tom Warby. Very close to the man on the mark. Goes high and long with the right boot. Starts it right. It stays right and through for one behind. So the second behind on the board for the Scoresby Football Club. They move on to 5-2-32. Noble Park 7-8-50. 14 and a half minutes gone uh, in this second term. As Kyle Martin marking it from the kick in. Goes very short to Anderson. Anderson lays off a handball to Kemperman, to Martin, back to Anderson, slips the tackle now, well done to Cleave, chain of handballs, finishes with Cole Martin, Martin's kick lands in the uh, the arms of Dunn, Dunn boots it forward, good grab by Allen, gee that was a good sharp mark, Goldsworthy maybe interfered after the mark was taken, the umpire deemed that that was uh, fair enough, and uh, Shane Allen, gee looks dangerous today. He's not close to best on ground at the moment. I don't know who is. He's certainly uh, dominating this game uh, at, at the moment. And uh, this is his fifth or sixth shot on goal. Sixth shot on goal. Allen for goal number four. Just off target once again. So he's kicked three goals, four. Two goals. Sorry, two goals, four. But um, it's proving plenty of headaches for the uh, Scoresby defence. Noble Park, 7-9 at 51. Scores be a 5 2 32. It's a 19 point lead for the Bulls, coming up to 16 minutes gone in the second quarter. As much as you'd love him to be uh, kicking those goals, I reckon Mick Fogarty would be reasonably happy as the kick out from Tom Wolby once again uh, heads to the middle of the ground. It's a decent old roost he's got on him with the wind. Scores we try and work it forward. Series of kicks. McConnon was cut off, couldn't quite take the mark. Paul Spills over the boundary line, centre wing on the outer side. So 16 minutes gone, second term, 7-9 plays 5-2, 51 plays 32. Ball on the outer side. Thrown in now, Manton and Van Renan go at it once again. Tap came down, Noble Park just trying to push it forward at any cost. A free kick's been paid out, it will go the way of the Bulls. Short chip kick finds Martin just in front of Jones, who is uh, closing pretty quickly. Got Manson on in the middle of the ground. Also got Kelly there as well. Decides to go in the Kelly direction. But a free kick's been paid out downfield uh, by umpire Dan Baird. So it'll go the way of, uh, of scores to be running back the other way to Jones. I'm not sure what that was for, but I'm going to go with it anyway. I suppose I have to with the run of play. But scores be a chance to go inside 450 on this next kick through McConnon. Uh, a mountain of players. Just uh, gathered around the football, though. He goes inside 50, long bomb. Can't quite find a target. Manson was the man down there. Couldn't quite take the mark. Off the back of the pack, scores me another chance. Through McConnon, couldn't quite make the most of it. And through for one behind. So 5-4-34. Sorry, that was Sean Cross. 5-4-34. Uh, as scores me 7-9-51. Noble Park, 17 and a half minutes gone. Second term. So Anderson brings the ball back into Kemperman, who will swing onto that. Very trusty left boot. Short goes short this time to Robbie Kemperman. Martin with the handball under pressure. Tried to get it to O'Brien. Strong tackle by Tompkin. Tompkins, I should say. And it will be a ball up. It just seems quite static scores be going forward compared to Noble Park. When Noble Park go forward, it's a surge. And when scores be going forward, it's uh, quite a slow burn build up that ball hit uh, McDonald on the shins Patarakis to O'Brien this is when they look dangerous the Bulls Monaghan very short to Dunn who's presented well in this second quarter quick kick came forward from O'Brien to Elwin well it doesn't stay in no it doesn't but um, again just when they come up this wing along this wing or, or along the other wing for that matter Noble Park do they look uh, very, they look deadly at the moment. Gibbons got it from Krawczyk. Krawczyk not appreciating the treatment he copped, which resulted in the uh, the free kick. Handball shoveled out to Pim. Steve Pim just looks a bit off his game today. He's put that one out on the full. It's one of his first kicks of the day, I think. Yeah, he hasn't had a lot of it at the moment, but you know, Scoresby's delivery into him hasn't been great either at this stage. Nice pass by Kelly into the path of Patarakis. 
tried to sock it on to O'Brien. Scoresby competing well though. O'Brien now. Beautiful pass to Bull. Bull has a chance at goal. Luke Mann says, keep going, son. You can kick it. Bull's kick drifts across the face of goal. And um, again, a little bit of a lot let off there for Scoresby. But at the same time, probably not a bad result for the Bulls with a, a boundary throw in deep in their forward line. Knocked down to Allen. Tried to crash his way through. Krawczyk shovels out a handball to big Luke McDonald, who's been pretty quiet so far in this game. Nicely chopped off there by uh, for the, uh, the Bulls by Patarakas. And they look for a lead further afield. A short pass from Anderson's on to Dunn. Had a good second quarter. Dunn, nice pass to Martin. Gets a shove in the back from Parker. Will the umpire pay the 25? No, he won't. So, you can really see the contrast in the way both sides are actually using their football going into their forward line. And uh, once again, Noble Park were very patient, waited for the right option, and then the execution by foot was uh, deliberate. They hit their targets. On the flip side, Scoresby have been blazing away, bombing down to their forwards. And at the moment, you know, Noble Park are, are kicking at goal based on the fact that they're uh, disciplined with their team structures at the moment. Well, Kyle Martin's put it out on the full. Gave it all he had with the kick, but... Um quite time it. One of those kicks where he probably tried to push himself a little bit too far. Still an 18 point lead for Noble Park. This is Ben McDonald in the back pocket. Man standing the mark very diligently. <laughs> it's about four metres. It was a very, <laughs> very <best>. short pass. <laughs> back pocket up. Half back big five. Alley. Well, Cross was there, Shark in the pack. Kick finishes up in the hands of Jones. Jones is handled to Dunn. Dunn's kick, a bit of a float of the shot in the back. And it's a uh, kick from the top of the head. And I think that's the way to do it. A chance now to work. Thank you. 
The other thing that's against them, we've played three hard games, no, we're going to be fresh having only two. Like his brother, Greg Lottie, Greg Lottie, Greg Lottie, Greg Lottie. I think Noble might be a bit fresher than that. Now, Jack Noble, Noble are controlling the game pretty well. Dowler. Absolutely steady. Steady as a rock down there. Down there. Deep. Just banks the kick to the wing position. No mark taken. Came off hands. Kelly did really well. Gave off a little handball. Got it to Dallin Hunt. Dallin has got a mark. Oh, I just party just, uh, tricks uh, now. Just inside the field of yeah, play. Just, Shane yeah, Allen taking the mark. That was perfect. He just backed his way out to us. And I expected to hit the ground. Sure he can't hit the goal here. Sure enough, drifts across the face of goal. He's one of these guys that he'd let you know if he kicked it as well. Did you join in the celebrations, George, at Doncaster? Yeah, sure did. That was a good win, that was impressive. Very, very good. He's really dominated this game today at the moment, Sean Allen. Went for me on Monday too. First half. I kick. Is that a goal? He's a goal. Wow, that's an unbelievable goal. Peter O'Brien. And uh, that's amazing stuff for Noble Park. 10 goals, 10 cents. We've got no coach down here. It's been 5 yeah. 3 and 33. O'Brien has his third. Who is his off field? And Noble uh, uh, Park, they have been a chance of doing it. South and South and South. This grand final. It's a fair work from the umpire to try and gauge that one. That one, that one was probably double, almost double, 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 yeah, two fingers up as Martin tries to clear away from the park in the end. He gets back to Della Hunt. Out on the outer side, that man O'Brien. Tell you what, has also been good, and good with Alan, especially in this quarter. Inside from 150, they go through Monaghan, looking for a target, can't quite find one on this occasion. Martin will be first in the race, but can he make the most of it? Can't quite do so, putting his body on the line. Fantastic effort there from Pat Tompkins to see it over the bend line out of bounds. Nine seconds to go, Lewis, with the so they go the once again, 23 minutes gone, second term, a goal here would make it very, very handy. Makes you feel a bit more comfortable going into the rooms at halftime. Parker could have cleared much now. Into the round of one. He's been everywhere uh, during this quarter. Really set them up through uh, the middle of the round. Setting the water board to the forward line. Right 
stroke at half time. Peter O'Brien has the chance to slot through his fourth of the game, his third of the quarter, and his second in a row. He sides it. That was ninety dollars. Sticks it on the boot. Let's go with the torpedo and uh, absolutely bolts it completely. So. No score for the Bulls on that occasion, but they've scored enough. 20 scoring shots to 8 in the first half. 10-70, Noble Park lead scores be 5-3-33. Uh, Goal kickers to half-time with Ryan 3, Allen 2, Anderson 2, and Man 2. And the single So 10-10-70, Noble Park, 5-3-33. Give the, um, the money to the yeah, no worries. Well, Bree might have done that because she wrote.
Yeah, no chimes? You know the bulls, eh? Yeah, they shouldn't lose some heat. Uh, if they do, they'll create a few of those fun ones. But you know, the way they lose this. Uh, a quality team. Is the wind dying down a bit, right? Yeah, it does. Yes. Yeah, I reckon it has. I reckon the last little bit dying down even yeah. further. Yeah. So, you know, if they get a roll, less scores we can address something. Yeah, if they're going to roll, it'll be a little Teams introduced and run out to the theme songs and it's been sounding a lot. Yeah, yeah. So and like eleven other finals. Nine of the sides that came out. This one. So I um Yeah, I just need to just, just that out. Yeah, just wait, wait until I give you the signal. Otherwise, I get feedback. I think if I do it in here, has it, has it like, turned it up enough? Mr. Stephen Kent, come to the EFL caravan, please. Mr. Stephen Kent, come to the EFL caravan, please. Good work, How are you going, boy? Good, mate. Thanks, Mitch. I'll wait here for a bit to see if he turns up.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please start to clear the ground for the start of the third quarter. If you could please start to clear the ground for the start of the third quarter. Thank you. Final half of First Division action for Season 2011, the Division 1 Grand Final between Scoresby and Noble Park. And at the moment, Noble Park leading this one reasonably comfortably, 10-10-70 to 5 3 33. And just looking through my notes and just checking in the last uh, 10 minutes or so of, uh, in red time in both the first and second quarters, uh, Noble Park managed three goals in both those sessions. Of course, in that second term, Peter O'Brien kicking th uh, two goals, one within the space of about five or so minutes. So just asserting their dominance uh, in the last few minutes of each quarter. But it'll be interesting to see. Do you reckon schools are going to come back from here, Brownie? No, unfortunately, uh, the deficit now at uh, half time is probably too big. And uh, with the fact that uh, Noble are using the breeze this quarter, I, I really believe that Noble may go out to a uh, nine or ten goal lead by three-quarter time. I just can't see them coming back at this stage. Well, in that term, uh, no, uh, Scoresby kicked uh, three goals, two to four goals, five. So plenty of scoring shots on the board for the Noble Park Bulls as we get underway in the second half of this Division One Grand Final. Van Reenen gets the tap down. Scoresby trying to push it forward at all costs. Desperation times now as Marcius just bustles through his opponent. Still a chance to go forward and then just wraps him up. Tim Kelly held at the bottom of the pack, going nowhere. It's been aggressive today, David Marcius, but I think I reckon they need him finding more of the footy because he hasn't really had much of the ball in the first half. He can be one of those guys that can rack up 30 touches uh, and be a real game changer, but 
just uh, other than when he got sent off during that first turn, we haven't really seen much of him at all. Uh, so a secondary ball up, right on the edge of the square. This time Delahunty just punches through the back. Still a chance for Scoresby to go forward once again. Off the back of the pack, kick comes to the right-hand side. And a through for one behind from Lucas Gibbons. So the first score on the board of the second half going the way of the Magpies. 5-4-34, Noble Park 10-10-70, a minute gone in the third term. So Kemperman, Stuart Kemperman to bring the ball back in. And um, his kicking is always a feature. Six goals in a radio game a couple of years ago in a half. But um, these days tends to play much more deep in defence. Monaghan gives out a handball to Delahunty. Coughs it up to leg. Cosson goes to ground, tries to reel it back in. Gave it to leg, on to McConnon. Neat pass from McConnon to Krawczyk. Krawczyk's kick certainly didn't travel the required distance, I didn't think. Umpire <laughs> did. I can't believe that decision. It's even got the 50 metre mark there as a bit of a bit of a guide. But, well, um, Hicks is now lining up from pretty much where Krawczyk kicked it. So Hicks's kick drifts across the face of goal. And Noble Park got plenty of defenders back. Anderson Shark, the pack. Beautiful pass to Monaghan. Angelopoulos on a long lead. Takes the mark just inside the field of play. Their foot skills have been exemplary today, the Bulls. Kick there from Angelopoulos was intended for Dunn. And uh, Dunn and Major there contesting, but the boundary line coming into play. So boundary throw in. Van Reenen with the fist. Knocks it down. And once again, the uh, the ball will be thrown in. 10 goals, 10, 70. To Scoresby, 5 goals, 4, 34. Pumped down to Anderson. Quick kick out of the pack. Hogel. Very high kick out of defence, looking for Wilson. Robbie Kemperman should get to it first. Yes, he does. Had Jackatine in support. Jackatine's little handball to Allen. Little kick bounces into the path of a Monaghan, and his kick goes across the face of goal for a minor score, which uh, takes Noble Park on to 10 goals, 11-71. Scores be 5-4, 34 and um, just feels a little bit brownie, like the floodgates are sort of, they're pressing and they're, pri they're trying to be prized open and may not be far away. Yeah, Scoresby will be giving everything they've got right at this stage to see if, if there's uh, any light at the end of the tunnel, but uh, you just feel that Noble are pressing to uh, really put this game to bed early. So Scoresby trying to clear out through the outer side. Still a chance now to just push it forward. Working in on the bottom of the contest, Van Reen and caught down there as well. Once again, a mountain of players just uh, gathered around the footy. No one taking it anywhere. So four minutes gone, third term. Good to see that this crowd's stuck in and probably almost got bigger towards the start of this second half. A few people trying to get in for free. Work off the bottom of the pack, Goldsworthy managed to clear it out. But true centre wing kicks it out of bounds on the full. It'll be uh, Kemperman to take the free uh, take the free kick. Go short. Manages to find Robbie Kemperman. He's been reasonably good so far in this first half uh, in the in the game so far. Inside forward 50. Looks like uh, Mans almost grabbed that from three deep, but Van Reenen had front position and was rewarded by the umpire. He kicks straight back out of defensive 50. Plenty of guys around there, but all in Noble Park jumpers. Anderson tries to get around three, gives back to Kemperman, who once again goes inside forward 50. Van Reen and the only man in there plays on. Gives his handball off, finds Jones. Leg. Leg. Decides to go short. Spots up Cosson, who just waits on play. Right into the center of the ground. And Wilson, who has took two goals so far. Inside forward, 50. Can't quite find uh, Krawczyk. 
Manages getting him on the bounce. The two captains go at each other. On this occasion, you'd probably say that Noble Park win out. And Anderson, good handball over the top, finds Martin in the centre of Bayswater Oval. Inside forward 50 in the Allen direction, over his head. Umpire hasn't paid a free kick. Well, he has. He's paid it yeah. to go in the way of Scoresby. So it will be uh, Tompkins to take the free kick. That one, one of those ones that sort of could have gone either way, you'd think, Brandy. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, one of those 50-50s. And uh, as a coach... Yeah, you hold your breath at times, hoping that that pulls you your way as a defensive side at that situation inside 50. Mick Fogarty will breathe a sigh of relief now as uh, Kemperman's taking the mark on centre wing out of side. Had about three kicks in the space of a couple of minutes. Finds Martin, handballs off to Anderson. Running inside 50, the captain for a captain's oh, goal. Oh, Makes no you. mistake, splits the middle. The captain of the, of the Noble Park Football Club, Craig Anderson, now has two goals. His side now has 11. They move on an 11 11 77 to Scoresby. 5 4 34. Six and a half minutes gone uh, in this third term, and you get the feeling that the Bulls can just run away with this one now, John. Yeah, Robbie Kemperman's uh, start to this third quarter has been fantastic and uh, just spotted up Cole Martin running through the middle. And like he did in the first half, just was that link up player, fed the handball off to uh, the running Anderson, who uh, finished off with a great goal actually his third goal. Which Wonderful third goal, goal, that one by Craig Anderson. Three for the day, as you say, as Tomkin takes it in the middle, had his kick smothered. Kemperman took the tackler on, gave it to Kelly. Elwin, Plimmon. Nice pass to Mann. Didn't really control the mark, did he? But it was uh, Delahunty it was. It was paid anyway. Anderson to Martin. Kyle Martin can unload. Keeps the kick very low, looking for Mann over the back. O'Brien... And that's just too easy for Noble Park. Peter O'Brien has kicked his fourth goal. Four goals for the day for Obi. And uh, Noble Park are running away with this game. They lead by 49 points. And that was just great footy again for Kyle Martin. And then uh, Peter O'Brien finishing off the good work of his teammates. It's all the big guns, isn't it, Brownie, today? Like, you can't say that... Uh, you know, it's all the players you knew who would be dangerous. Cole Martin, Craig Anderson, Peter O'Brien. They've just been phenomenal. And Scoresby can seemingly do nothing to stop them. No, they've been uh, instrumental, Noble Park's uh, prime movers. And uh, once again, here we go with uh, another run off the halfback line. Plymouth inside forward 50, went over the, over the head of Dunn. Still a chance now as Allen runs in. So too, George Angelopoulos. Still a chance. Both Scoresby defenders go to ground. Shane Allen steeps his feet. Sticks it on the left bird and sails it across to the left-hand side. So, through for one behind, the fourth behind for Shane Allen. He has two goals, uh, sorry, two goals, five uh, for the game. 12-11-83, oh, sorry, it should be 12-12-84, Noble Park. Scores would be 5-4, 34, eight, uh, or nine minutes gone in this third term. Scoresby's just got no run at the moment. They're very flat, there's no run, and you can see that at the start of the quarter when... Um, the big fella, Van Reenen, in the ruck took a couple of marks and there was no one running beside him. He had to go back and kick down the line. And you, you see the difference with Noble Park as they get the football. They link up by hand, use their, use their runners coming through the middle, and, and that's where they're freeing up their forwards. And Scoresby just haven't been able to do that. And that's a credit to um, the coaches from Noble Park not allowing them to do that. Oh, the margin is 50 points now. Elwin tried to go by hand to Anderson. Elwin again, wrestles the footy away, gives it to Monaghan, who's strongly tackled there by Gibbons. And it will be a ball up just inside the field of play on the true wing position, pretty much. A little bit further around from there, in fact. So the umpire to toss it up, Van Reenen against Manson. And Manson appealing for a free kick there, but in, I think both him and Van Renan seem to interfere with each other. And uh, Manson's going to take a well-earned breather. It's done a mountain of work today. Back into play. Strong tackle on Marcius, who somehow fed it out to Parker. Keeps the kick very low for Pim. Pim attacks the footy. Got a free kick, McConnon. Rove the pack beautifully, bounces the kick through <laughs> almost. Yeah, that's despairingly close. And uh, Noble Park steal themselves for another 4A forward through Barclay to Patarakis. 
through the middle. Long kick. He was trailed then by Corey Mack, who uh, really needs to start to get into this game. Out of defence, Goldsworthy. Nice pass to Jones. Brad Jones has a bounce. Measures the kick to Wilson. 25. 25 metre penalty paid there as well. Gee, I reckon he's a bit unlucky there. He looked like he was uh, off and playing on then, and uh, I think Noble Parker could find themselves really unlucky with that decision. <laughs> well, the kick comes forward. Big fist by Dowler. To the path of Cleave. Over the footy, Cleave. It's probably surprised he hasn't done a bit more ruck work today. Uh, Stuart Cleave, though, from pretty much, as we've said, Manson sort of been very much the uh, the man, the go-to man. And Luke Mann's done a little bit of the ruck work up forward, but they have got a, another option there if they need it. At this stage, they can do no wrong, the Bulls. So out of defence, O'Brien with Goldsworthy and the boundary line this time is the victor. So boundary throw in true wing position. Anderson comes off the ground, replaced by Monaghan. Ball on the deck, Patarakis over the top. And Scoresby, that uh, one time where they went forward and actually looked uh, like a, a ray of hope, unfortunately for Kirby McConnell, the kick just fell just short of the goals. Pretty much sums up their day so far. Warby to Mack. Nice kick by Corey Mack to, McKern, uh, to McConnell, I should say. Barclay puts his body over the footy. And the umpire says, yep, yeah, you... Uh, you hauled it in there and uh, we're caught red-handed. So the free kick goes to Jones. Brad Jones. Takes plenty of time. And that's a terrible kick after really considering all options. It was just the execution was uh, appalling. And Stuart Kemperman had that kick well scouted. Goes to Barclay. Who sweeps out a handball to the outer side. Allen's kick is a good one. They, they team up again well here. Once more, the Bulls. Offhand from Elwin to Dunn. Bounces the kick through for a goal. Matty Dunn has kicked his first of the day. And once again, gee, they made it look easy there, Noble Park. They just uh, rebounded the footy from one end to the other. And Matty Dunn... As soon as he kicked the ball, we just had a feeling it was probably going to go through for a goal, and sure enough, it did. And at the moment, it is the Bulls absolutely smashing Scoresby. Noble Park, 13-11-90. Scoresby, a 5-4-34. And terrific for Matty Dunn to uh, score a goal. He hasn't had a lot of possessions, but he's played his part today, and he's, he's led up well, sometimes had some dummy leads, but... Uh, Really good reward for him uh, to uh, hit the scoreboard as a, as a forward that has been presenting and working hard for Noble today. So Noble Park got the quick centre clearance and uh, trying to run it out of half back there was McDonald. Couldn't quite do it and Owen just uh, bringing him down at the last minute. So another chance to go inside forward 50 here for the Bulls. Deep into the pocket. Kick wasn't that flash and it's cut off very close to the boundary. Just looking which way. The umpire's paid the mark so it'll be... Scores a bit of clear off half back now. Short chip kick. Finds Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy goes short. And just find Jones. Haven't seen a lot of him so far in this game. Another short chip kick to Parker. This just shows this is something that's been a, a strength of Dale Bowers coaching is the fact that his players can uh, change the way of the game, but uh, they just haven't been clean enough during the, during the course of this game. Wilson's kick wasn't flash, as I said. McConnon and Pym both uh, have struggled most of the day and find themselves at the bottom of that pack, and ball's held up right in the middle of Bayswater Oval. So Martin and Anna Manson just about to come on for Noble Park. Marcius and Hicks just about to come on for Scoresby. Good work from Barclay, just bustles his way through, trying to get the handball out to Jacketine. Couldn't quite find him, crawls it, gets it off. Bouncing ball towards the 
Wilson direction. Couldn't quite keep it. Managed just to keep it in. McConnon off the bottom of the Fantastic pack. And I'll tell you what, that is a brilliant effort. Ben Wilson has two. You could almost count that down as three. But the goal will go to Kirby McConnon, who has his first of the day. One of the SEN uh, Team of the Year squad members from the Scoresby Footy Club. Fantastic stuff from Ben Wilson. I was just about to give that one uh, done and dusted. But Kirby McConnon has his first. He has his side six. They move on to 6 4 40. Trailing this one, 49 points to Noble Park, 13-11, 89, 16 minutes gone, third term. Back into the middle, and, uh, excuse me, Monaghan belts it forward. Dunn takes possession, there's a free kick, it will go to Scoresby and Tompkins. So Patrick Tompkins, very short to McDonald. Luke McDonald hasn't really uh, given much drive out of defence as he normally does. And that kick wasn't his best effort. It was marked by O'Brien. So Peter O'Brien, what a game he's had today. What a performance. I'm just amazed how much space and latitude that he's been given, even in this third quarter after such a dominant first half, and yet no one's still willing to go and pick him up and uh, close him down. So the ball, a bit of a stalemate at the moment. I mean, here we are, you know, with the stoppage 50 out and uh, O'Brien's just sitting by himself at the moment. Dunn, hun <coughs> excuse me, hunts down the footy. Can't get to it. They finally amended the scoreboard, Dyson, as we, yeah, we hoped they would. Noble Park, 13-12-90 to Scoresby, 6-4-50. So it's a 50-point a deficit. And the ball ushered through for a minor score there. So that takes uh, Scoresby on to... Uh, sorry, so, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, Noble Park on to 13, 13, 91. Scoresby 6, 4, 40, 17. Coming up to 18 minutes gone in the third quarter, the Premiership quarter. Just run out of room on my sheet now. Too many... 20... I can, ha I can hold 26 scoring shots, and that's how many that uh, Noble Park have had, and we're halfway through the third term. It's going to be a long second half trying to work <laughs> out where I'm going to put them. But anyway, Scoresby were streaming forward, but a fantastic tackle has Kemperman with the ball inside forward 50 in the direction of Georgie. So Georgie Angelopoulos, man on the mark, stands on 50. He's winding up. Kicks on its way. Gives it a decent effort, and... Uh, Coming across to try and get that one through was Robinson, but he couldn't mark him through for one behind. So the 27th scoring shot, the one that won't fit on my sheet. 13-14, 92, Noble Park, 6-4-40. The scores be eight and a half minutes gone, third term. So Warby to bring the ball back in as uh, Goldsworthy takes a sit down. Warby to the broadcast side, Van Reen in the target. That's a good intelligent kicking, just kick it to your Ruckman when he's got a bit of a steep bit of steam up and Van Reenen did on that occasion. Sits it up very high, Dowler flew for it, probably got hands to it but uh, Leg was the man in front, paid the mark. Brenton Leg goes laterally to his teammate in, in uh, Marcius. In fact, it was McDonald then. Ben McDonald to back to leg. Dowler standing the mark. Brenton leg wants to get around him. Dishes off a handball to Van Reenen. Van Reenen's telling kick. Manson spoiled it though. Angelopoulos to Kyle Martin. Has a bounce. Get excited, Dyson. Two bounces. A third. Now he kicks it forward. Lovely pass. Great footy from Noble Park. Wonderful footy from Kyle Martin. Probably didn't need that third bounce uh, so soon after the second, but otherwise it was beautifully done. Three bounces <laughs> sounds better than two <laughs> when does. he watches this on Monday morning. <laughs> and uh, beautiful, lovely pass there from Martin to Luke Mann, who was uh, in the right spot. And he won't miss this, you wouldn't think. Makes no mistake. Kicks the goal. Tells the crowd about it. And Luke Mann has booted his third for the day. And uh, I dare say he'll be a very happy man that he came over from the Croydon Football Club last year where he played played uh, in finals. Last year it was uh, the discipline no, going out of the first week of the finals in Croydon. Uh, this year it's a part.
part of being a premiership team at uh, Noble Park. Noble Park, 14, 14, 98. The score's being 6 and 40. And we're into time on. Did he actually go? I don't doubt that at all. The scores we go forward, I'll get back to my train of thought in a minute. And we get a break in time. Five, four, one. This is just one goal. So just push the others and sort up with you. 
bit of a tussle right in the centre of the ground. Just think about it, I reckon they've only, from the first half to the so far, in this third team, they've only really managed to hold one player, and that's Shane Allen, who has still managed to have reasonable influence anyway. I mean, he was fantastic in the first uh, half. Yeah, he's still, he's still in and about. There's just scores we can't lock down. They can't, and uh, Noble Park right across the ground to win too much football, I guess, and that's putting pressure on their defence. But uh, yeah, I guess one of the strengths of Scoresby in the past has been able to uh, change their game, and uh, during the course of you know the quarters, and, and really go that man on man defensive pressure. I don't think we've seen that early enough today. Speaking of Shane, he's come off the ground, looks a little bit ginger. I think he's come to court here. Or two. Just in that last marking contest, not a bad replacement though, as he yelled and comes on for it. But only managed to fight Kepperman on half back. Here at Bayswater Oval, that signals three quarter time. 98 Noble Park, 57 point lead yeah. as a three quarter good time, 65 41. Noble Park, looking the goods at three quarter time. Have they, have they bought up your money yet, Vince? Okay. Vince, have they bought up your money yet? I reckon not, there's that many cops here. Yeah. Oh, they've been pretty good, the cops have been. Yeah. Oh, the only fuck up today is the fucking fuck up. That's how the school's going to go out. It made me look like a fucking idiot. That's how it is. Thank you. 
Oh, he didn't, mate. He didn't. And it was, look, the system was me. I ran the show. You're me. Anyway. Anyway. The theme song's fucked up, so they could have just come on. Yeah, I on the ground, Jack Aaron, to shoo some people off. Yeah, I'll, I'll go right here.
touched on the line by Bojan, like the three behind, and the way Lucas gives it to his side, which is causing me to do 2 6 6 22 trailing this one for me, but they're not in the game. Told you about on this week too. A couple of blokes, um, Neil from the scores with that. How do I do the uh, job in the timekeeper? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Neil says, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Perfectly. And, the, the and, then and then no, uh, we lost power to the whole thing. Are you joking? Fucking... Oh mate, I'm going to turn the fucking radio off. I said that, I said, there's not 10,000 people listening to the fucking radio. Turn the fucking radio off. Let's kick to the game. Let's hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. kick to the game for this bloke, I reckon. He has, not, he has not had a kick. Then uh, they should be able to hold on for me. Tight, get a couple of specials in the second half. Oh, that cold in here. That's one of the best guys we've ever seen. The wind's gone that way. And the better seat. Well, the kid, the pass he did. He's going to pass it just before. Yeah, just yeah. 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 He's just going to keep one goal. He's just going to keep one goal. He's 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 going to keep one goal. He's
Kids will be able to do is done before this joint is the kicked the in the winning position. Uh, yeah. So we, we get the two ends off easy enough. Out the ladders, but it's, 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 getting up, it's getting up on the roof and it's getting it off the side. It bounces over the back there to Hicks. Can he get moved to ball? No, he can't. What do we need to do? McConnor takes possession. Everything's been putting up over the last couple of days, mate. Great goal from Legs. Kirby McConaughey. Done a couple of really good things today. He's kicked two goals and uh, just given glimpses of what he is capable of. But uh, obviously he's been pretty yeah. much starved of opportunity in the forward line. Yeah. No, Park, 14 goals. Well, so Lou, you know what you'll do? Start with. You'll get a power rate. Uh, Thanks, Kirby. 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 Five straight behind. Yeah, just one, 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 two, 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 Delahunty grabs it out of the ruck, gives yeah, it Martin it's short. Yeah. Probably thought it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one contest, but that came into the right at the time and just uh, gave a little bit of a hand out. Martin coming off, doesn't look fresh. Oh, Another good thing to say. Put him on the ground even though he's yeah, on the line right. And the scores we wrapped up. Just to be holding uh, his injury leg, so... Do you need me to have a question? Leg, I should say. Um, we've been playing out of the game for him. Yep. Well, it's good down at the bottom with Higgs. Yeah, we'll do that. 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 Yeah, we'll do do the same thing as before, and then once you've finished the thing, the siren, you leave that going, just turn this, that goes down, turn that all the way down, and just press play. Rather than just turn that all the way down. So what do you mean turn it all the way That's the radio mic, so that's the volume out of there. Yeah. So what I want is, once I've, once we've finished doing the siren, I don't want any noise to come to the and I can't turn it off. And so that's just to find the running man in cross, so turn that down, press play possible. Yeah, and then just play the goal square. Plenty of men oh, back there for Noble Park, and they'll just uh, raffle at stupid, it. Stupid, stupid machine. And it'll be... Has ever cut out? Sorry, Dowler will take it away. Has ever cut out? Um, right through the middle of the yeah, play, Jack and Yeah, today, when we're trying to do the theme song. Gives it off, they're working it well. So what if it does? Right there. Just uh, to serve the Kings, right. back to forward. Uh, O'Brien goes goal with all. George Angelo was good one to hold on to it. And it's over the boundary line and out of bounds. So... Mate, I've just been just finished doing it. Yeah, just to stop it. Reminding us that they are a 48-point for the side. Just stop. Uh, uh, yeah, just, yeah, press stop. Tap down my man. Gets it off to Angelopoulos. Back towards Padarakis. Nice tap down from him. O'Brien with the set shot on goal. Punch through in the end by McDonald. Was going to go through from behind anyway, but uh, punch through on that occasion. Yeah, from from behind. Yeah. That brings up the ton for Noble Park. They move on to 14, 16, 100. Leading uh, scores be 7951 by 49, uh, 49 points, 10 minutes into this final term. I'm just blown away still at this stage how a player like O'Brien, who's dominated all day, can still have that much space inside 50. Just turn up to the zone. I just don't think that uh, the scores will players have uh, paid enough due respect to some of their players today. Uh, yeah. So a chance now for Kemperman. Shot on goal. Cross to the right hand side, and another behind. So. Everyone trying to get involved in this one. Shuey Kemperman uh, coming from half back to try and get himself a goal. 14, 17, 101. Now 50 point margin, 7, 9, 51. Ten and a half minutes gone in this final term. Just ticking down to party time for the Noble Park faithful. And the Warby's kick wasn't flash. Only found Della Hunty for Noble Park. So Della Hunty on centre wing. Chips into the four. Man at the back of the pack almost took the mark, couldn't quite bring it to ground though on that occasion. Managed to 
can clear it out with a series of handballs, putting themselves under a lot of pressure. against it, kicks the ball up towards McConnell on the weak position. And now it just slows down again. That's been a problem with scores me. There's no uh, continuity of run. They might have a brief flurry, but they can't sustain it by Noble Park have really short to goals worthy. Searching kick from Scott Goldsworthy, the veteran. And yeah, taking the ball from the boundary line. Scotty Goldsworthy played in the uh, reserves grand final in 2001 on this ground. This was been 10 years ago. It's been around a long time. So just snatch up your time and just go cracking the defence. Uh, knows this ground very well. Plymouth. Jarrett Plymouth out of defence. There's a free kick. Uh, 
uh, 16 minutes gone, final turn. Well, Anderson got crunched as he uh, gave it to Jack Team, but uh, the ball still found its way up to the wing position. Ball's kick was a great one to Elwood, all on his own. Easy as you like and see what's going on today. He's missed another one. And uh, in fact, that's his first score of the game, but he, he's the one player of, uh, of the real big guns, the big names of an open park who has failed to fire today. Um, 51 point lead now to open park. That was uh, a goal delivered to him on a silver platter by his teammate uh, Luke Ball. So what was pretty much a uh, best of ground performance in last year's grand final, the 2010 win. It's Della Hunty Mark gives the handball off. The camper minute goes inside forward 50. Pass just didn't have enough on it. Alwyn Hell have another chance, but just kicks that one high. Doesn't really go anywhere. Angela Loplos and Alan fight over it. lost count today how many times that uh, Noble Park have actually gone from their kick-ins directly down to the other end of the ground today and actually had a shot on goal. It's uh, been phenomenal the way they've used the football, hit their targets and really broken down Scoresby through the middle of the ground with that. There's a player coming out the, with the blood rule. It will be... Uh,
still be out in the ground and really enjoy the moments now over the next you know six seven minutes so uh, they've got themselves in this spot and i'm sure they'll start to really save at the moments 57 point lead now to noble park 15 goals 19 109 the scores be 7 10 and 52 and uh shane allen joins uh, luke mann and craig anderson as the lows for noble park with three goals Pedro O'Brien's kick four, and Luke Mann, excuse me, now has a chance to kick his first goal. That was just another lace-out pass from uh, Cole Martin. Uh, uh, Luke Mann looks in. Nice kick. Has he snuck at home? Yes, he has. Another goal fourth for the Wolves. Luke Mann has four goals. Uh, he is a lovely kick of the football. 16 goals, 19, 115 now over Park leading the scores be 7, 10, 52. And the scoreboard is getting pretty ugly if you're a, a Magpies fan. And uh, you're right, Kyle Martin, he's using the footy as always. It's been Whoever wallops that, I'll put under that hat. Just, uh, cut us, cut us way through this uh, scores in the midfield. Uh, the only thing we see from today and has been one of those big teams. I'll put it there just in case someone uh, saw it when they were walking past. Ball back in the middle. Saw that it, uh, they want to it. Try and lift his side forward. Did he get it? Money up? Only finds him. Is there a name in it? Barrels are like brown. Have a check there. Della Hunt, he has a bit of time to turn around. Gets it up towards Anderson, the captain. Another man who celebrates this one. Stephen Kidd. Very, very long hat. Long and hard. Inside forward, 50. Oh, and a jello chance. A lot? Yeah. So he's been there or thereabouts this last quarter. What was the name of that guy who lost his wallet? Yeah, it wouldn't be too much. Steven? Steven? Sort of come into this game. Steven Now is the chance to win. We're going up to one. 17 goals. No play. He hasn't been terribly nice. I'm just going to judge him by pretty high standards. Great man. I agree. I'm trying to go and talk to Clarky about letting him know. Steven Kidd, anyway. Who handed it in? Who handed it in? Captain has been pretty 
uninfluential today. And the mark taken on the last line of defence there by Dowlin, who stood tall and has had a great game defensively. Manson finishes off a handball now. They're off and running again. The Hawks jacket team gave it to Panarakis. Nice pass. Lovely kick that time to, uh, to Alvin. And Alvin's forward was a good one also. To man. Sting has really gone out of this game. There isn't much uh, in the way of tackling or really fierce pressure anymore from either side. Very skillful. So Luke Mann for a five goal haul. Takes it out to the line, but that is not. Because the siren has sounded that score does count. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you can start making your way over towards the Premiership dais so we can start our presentations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic way to end the 2011 Eastern Football League Division 1 season. Huge congratulations to Scoresby, a fantastic effort to make it to their second consecutive grand final. Hold your heads high, boys. You were fantastic. You'll learn a lot from this. Well done to the Scoresby Football Club. Unfortunately for the Scoresby boys, there can only be one winner on the biggest day of them all. And congratulations to Noble Park. Back-to-back -back premiers, 2010-11. Time to start our medal presentations. The first medals that will be presented are the Cliff Tompkins Medal and also the Blue Ribbon Foundation Medal awarded to the best player on the ground this afternoon. To make the presentation, the Deputy Commissioner of Road Policing, Mr Kieran Walsh. And the winner of both the Cliff Tompkins and Blue Ribbon Foundation Medals for season 2011, from the Noble Park Football Club, number 24, Peter O'Brien. Thank you to Kieran. To make the presentation of the Premiership medals, the Chairman of the Eastern Football League Board, Mr Graham Helbish. We'll start with the presentation of the Premiership medals, number three, George Angelopoulos. Number four, Stuart Kemperman. Number seven, Trent Robertson. Number 
12, Tim Kelly. Number 13, Craig Jackatine. Number 14, Sam Monaghan. Number 15, Shane Allen. Number 16, Bo Dower. Number 19, Luke Mann. Number 21, Jared Plyman. Number 22, Jackson Barclay. Number 23, Ziggy Alwyn. Number 24, the Cliff Tompkins medalist, Peter O'Brien. Number 31, Luke Ball. Number 32, Glenn Manson. Number 33, Tom Patarakis. Number 39, Robert Kemperman. And number 41, Matthew Dunn. The Noble Park Emergencies. Firstly, number nine, Daniel Galante. Number 10, Ewan McKenzie. And the third emergency, number 28, Tim Harper. The Noble Park runner, Tony McGarrigal. Ladies and gentlemen, the Premiership captain, number one, Craig.
Craig Anderson. And the Premiership coach, Nick Fogarty. We'll ask Mick to say a few words. Uh, first of all, uh, I just want to thank the Scoresby Football Club. Dale, you've done an outstanding job with your group um, to get you into two grand finals, your, your seconds in a grand final and your thirds really turn the club around. It's an outstanding achievement by your club and your group and once again, all the best for the future, you guys. Well done. Uh, to, to our group, unbelievable. You're an outstanding group of individuals that make this football team a great one. Our club, our facilities, our group, I can't speak highly enough of it. I'm just lucky to be uh, sitting in the coach's box and, and watching the group play. I've got that privilege every week and you're an unbelievable group and yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough of you. I just obviously want to finish off with the, the greatest influence of my life is my wife and I owe everything to my wife, Michelle and my kids and they're the, they're the back and cornerstone of, of my life and I love them dearly. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Division 1 Premiers, Noble Park. Unfortunately, Okay, Freezer, what do we, uh, where, where do you want to start? I'm going to put the stage straight in here. I'll grab a set of those clippers. I'll just build the signs out the front and yeah. put everything in. 